Tell me a little bit about the film, how you came on board Antiviral to work with Brandon Cronenberg. Well, oddly enough, I, you know, I know David, his father, really well, but I always met Brandon as his kid, you know, so that was not the way that this happened. I, I met Brandon as a filmmaker and as an adult uh, through my assistant, uh, who went to school with him at this uh, university called Ryerson in Toronto. Uh, and he made a short film as his graduating project, which was the first few scenes of this film, in fact, but with completely different cast and completely different, you know, he shot it back then. Uh, and the film had a lot of promise, and he told me when I saw it that uh, I was at a festival, a student film festival, and it was really great. It won a prize there for best director. And he said, well, you know, I'm working on this as a feature. And I said, well, you know, it'd be kind of cool to do it together. And, here we are three years later, you know, it took a long time to develop the script and to get it all together, but uh, that's how I got into it. So obviously, Brandon's dad is David Cronenberg, an amazing director, the horror genre, sci-fi, fantastic films he's made over the years. How much of an influence or inspiration do you think he's been to Brandon in his own filmmaking career so far? Well, you know, it's, I think it's hard to avoid when you grow up in a household to, <laughs> to avoid uh, the DNA that's there, you know, and he's grown up on film sets and there's been obviously like a lot of influence. Uh, I think Brandon in his youth tried to veer away from that, become an artist, become a musician, a uh, painter, and uh, in the end, you know, when he was quite late, when he was in his mid-twenties, decided he's actually going to go combine all those arts and become a filmmaker. Uh, and, uh, you know, his father hasn't really been involved in the film at all. You know, he did, never came on set, he never came to the editing room, uh, you know, Brandon sometimes showed him cuts of the film and uh, I was not involved in that, but uh, you can't avoid it, you know, of course, he's, uh, you know, if, if I was had someone that was really close to me, I, I show every film that I work on to all my friends, you know, who are some of the great directors in Canada, like Adam McGoin or Don McKellar or Patricia Rosamine, they give comments, you know, so that's the involvement that's been there, but he's been very careful to not put his own stamp on the film. This is Brandon's film and it's his own vision. And you've got a great young cast in a film as well, haven't you? One of the um, people is Sarah Gadon, who you're also working with on another film, An, an Enemy, aren't you? Tell me a little bit about An Enemy and why you think Sarah's uh, a great actress and why you want to work with her again. Well, Sarah in this film is, a, is an image. She's, she's in it a lot because her photo is everywhere. She's the the, the star, the celebrity that our lead character becomes obsessed with and she's fantastic in the film and she, she permeates the film. Uh, in An Enemy, I think she'll emerge as one of the great young actresses. She's right there, so I don't want to say it. It's, it's embarrassing, but uh, um, she's, uh, she's been, you know, so, uh, so committed and, and, uh, and she's, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see her. Uh, come together. She, she holds her own against Jake Gyllenhaal, which is a Gyllenhaal, which is a big deal.